chapter 19 of The Picture of Dorian Gray, Henry and Dorian are talking. Dorian tells Henry he's changing his life. He's going to be good. In fact, he's already started. He was making romantic overtures to a woman and decided to leave her as flower-like as I had found her. Henry begs him not to change and dismisses the idea that this woman will be content after experiencing someone like Dorian. Dorian complains about Henry mocking everything he says. He changes the subject, asking about the gossip. Though he mentions his own divorce and Alan Campbell's suicide in passing, Henry tells him everyone is talking about Basil's disappearance. They talk about what might have happened and Dorian asks if Henry mm -hmm. ever considered that Basil might have been killed. Henry literally mm. yawns in mm. response to this idea, dismissing it because of Basil's dullness. Dorian then asks what Henry would do if Dorian admitted he'd killed Basil. Henry dismisses <laughs> this idea too. It's too vulgar. And besides, Dorian doesn't have it in him to commit a violent crime. The conversation moves on. Henry notes that Basil's painting talent hadn't been as strong in the last 10 years as it had before and asks Dorian if that's why Dorian and Basil hadn't been as close. He asks what Dorian did with Basil's portrait of him, and Dorian claims he doesn't remember. They are discussing art when Henry asks Dorian an unexpected question. What does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Dorian is startled and inquires why Henry asks this. Henry says he heard a street preacher say it. Dorian responds that each human has a soul and they can damage or improve it. Henry rejects this as well, hmm. precisely because Dorian is sure about it. From here, Henry shifts to delivering long statements on how radically he has changed since the two men met, but Dorian hasn't. Dorian is perfect. Life worships him and always has. Dorian agrees his life has been wonderful, but says Henry doesn't know everything about him and things will change. Henry rejects this idea again, calling for Dorian to come to the club to meet a young man who is asked for an introduction. Dorian soon after agrees to meet Henry at the club at 11 o'clock. Throughout the novel, Henry argues for the pleasure side of the pleasure versus virtue theme. Witty, striking, and informed, Henry says art has no influence upon action. It annihilates the desire to act. It is superbly sterile. Art may be sterile, but it is sterile precisely because it has such a profound influence upon action. Basil's painting of Dorian functions as an externalized and omniscient conscience. Once again, Henry proves himself not much of a friend to Dorian. He also shows the distance between them and perhaps his own shallowness, mentioning his divorce briefly. This shallowness is underscored by his rejection of Dorian's question about the possibility that he killed Basil. Henry says, all crime is vulgar, just as all vulgarity is crime. Wilde provides a damning statement on the aesthetic movement, delivered in the most aesthetically pleasing fashion possible. 